Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lego Lee 329 again here, bringing you another Lego Star Wars 2012 review. And this is on the exclusive to Target set, Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. It's up number 9494, ages 8 through 14, contains 300 exact pieces and retails for 40 US dollars. Here's a look at the box with the Darth Maul logo, and the figures are on the side, and the back has just some various scenes being portrayed here and there's some other cool little action sequences going on in the back. Let's move the box out of the way. And here's the instruction manual. Um, has 68 steps of building and just some cool advertisements there. So let's move on to the minifigures you get with this set. First up is kind of just a throw-in minifigure with the set. This figure is a security battle droid. Nothing new about him at all and you know it kind of just thrown in to add Price, I guess. I don't really care. Next up is the ever so loved R2-D2, the same one that comes with the Droid Escape and the X-Wing. So I have like a little miniature army of R2-D2s after getting all these sets. He's pretty cool, but nothing new. Now we're getting to the best part of the set. Um, this is Newt Gunray. Finally, we have a Newt Gunray redesigned. Um, we have been suffering through that really weird Clone Wars version that is completely inaccurate and doesn't really work very well. Um, Getting to some of the best parts of the set, this is a episode 3 design of Obi-Wan Kenobi, and boy do I love this figure. He's got the normal blue lightsaber blade and uh, two printings on the torso, and he also has a double-sided face, with, which is very cool. His hairpiece is new, um, it's also available on the Robin minifigure and one of the figures from the Dino Defense Headquarters Last, set. but certainly not least, is this brand new Anakin minifigure. Finally, we're getting a good Anakin figure. I never really liked Anakin, but um, this is a very cool figure. He's got a blue lightsaber blade. He's actually got a little bit of leg printing. His legs are in a dark brown color, but he has little black printing over there. New torso print, and it is double-sided. He has that same hair that he has in the Clone Wars sets, but it's uh, recolored in a little bit darker brown color. That's his face there, and it is a double-sided face. He looks very evil on the other side. Of course, this is when Anakin eventually becomes Darth Vader. Next up is this very cool little scene that LEGO has given us with this set, and I really love this part of the set. <coughs> Definitely didn't have to be included, but LEGO did include it, and it looks fantastic. It's supposed to represent the final duel from um, Episode 3, obviously, and you get this cool little platform, which looks very accurate, and it's also got these cool, nice, clear pieces standing on this red base with some fire around it, so the platform looks very cool. And then you also get this little uh, magma robot thing. I can't remember exactly what these are called. Same deal with the clear pieces and the base is all fiery. The robot has articulation in the arms and the hands, well actually it just broke off, but the hands can turn and the head also moves up and down. Um, it's trying to get a look that as the head is hovering, it's got some kind of different color for the eyes, it's a little bit pinkish which is kind of cool. A little spot up here and you can fit the minifigures on top of these things and have them battle and I mean I thought that was a great thing to include with this set, I love that part about the set. Let's move on to the main part of the set though, the Jedi Interceptor. This is got to be the best Jedi Interceptor yet. Lego redesigned this ship perfectly. Um, there has been the original Anakin Jedi Interceptor what came out in 2005, and sometime around there there was that special edition set that came with Obi-Wan and Anakin Jedi Interceptors, and then Obi-Wan's um, blue Jedi Interceptor that he uses towards the middle of Episode 3. Um, he, that set came out with the uh, Hyper Booster Ring in 2007, but this is definitely my favorite Jedi Interceptor because of the colors and it just looks fantastic and the design is amazing. Um, it really looks great. I gotta say LEGO did a fantastic job designing it here. Um, it's a very solid build. Um, it's pretty heavy and it's really nice. Um, I've always really liked the look of this ship. I actually kind of prefer this a little bit more to the Episode 2 Jedi Starfighters and I just really love the look of this ship. Um, and this thing has some fantastic playability as well. Um, some cool details on the side, such as these guns, and then these guns, um, all redesigned very well. The top here, you got some sticker detail, and then some interesting tan details. Some more sticker details, those are also on the bottom. Um, unfortunately, this doesn't have any landing gear, it just sits on these little, uh, little, uh, circular pieces, and, you know, it sits perfectly, though, it's, it's pretty nice. But I really like the gun details. I love the dark green color. Dark green is one of my favorite colors, and it works perfectly with this set. The cockpit piece is uh, redesigned a little bit. Um, usually, it's kind of a little bit of a darker gray, but this time they have it in the lighter gray, and I thought that looked really cool. The engines from the back have a, have a pretty nice design, so that looks pretty cool. 
And now let's move on to some of the playabilities with this thing, which there is quite a bit. Of course, the main thing that this thing has done, you know, for the past years is the wings can open up very nicely. You can see like that, so it can be in battle mode, or it can just put it like this when it's landing. I actually kind of prefer it like this a little bit. The wings can also move up and down if you wish them to, but the ship does not look completely normal <laughs> like that. you got to post it like this for it to look normal, which is pretty cool. Um, there's also some interesting sticker details on the insides of the wings. You can see there some more detail. Um, now, underneath here, there's these two flick fire missiles and the, that flow flew open, but there's two flick missiles, so you can easily just flick those pretty nicely. They fire okay, and that was a nice feature to add. And then one of my favorite parts, the thing I was like most excited for in this ship, is that you can actually fit the astromech droid into the starfighter itself. Um, I'm just going to turn R2's head, and you can put him down in this little hole right here, and he fits pretty nicely. Um, it's kind of a little bit awkward looking from the bottom because his legs swing back and forth, but the other one's basically R2's head, which is sticking there, and it looks kind of odd, and this time around, much better design. Really like that. Unfortunately, it's not slanted, but that'd be pretty much impossible to do with Lego, so... Yeah, but um, now the cockpit also opens up pretty nicely. Um, it just swings back and forth. The inside is uh, somewhat tan and has some pretty good designs. Um, you can fit one minifigure inside there, of course, in this little red joystick. And you just take apart Anakin's lightsaber blade and put the blade there. And then put the handle right there. And then you can just take Anakin himself, stick him right here, and close up the cockpit. And there is your Jedi Interceptor ready to go fight the evil people. Final verdict for this set? Amazing. I love it. It's one of my favorites, if not my favorite, of the new Star Wars 2012 sets. The price could be better, but besides that, I absolutely love it, and that's why I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Congratulations. Um, not many sets earned that rating from me, and I'm really happy with this set. Definitely go pick it up. Exclusive at Target. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's awesome. you got to pick up this set. So this is LEGO Lethal 9 I'll see you guys next time. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.